Satnam, beautiful souls, and thank you so much for tuning in. So, I'm very excited about this reading because today's theme is going to be What am I manifesting? So, we are really taking a look at what you are bringing into your life or, yes, which manifestations you have been working on or in general, how you are going to bring these manifestations in. So, let's get in. So today we have three piles to choose from and I'm really inviting you to tune into your intuition and to see which pile you are intuitively guided to. Today there are no crystals so it's really also a exercise for the intuition. So let's see which pile you feel most drawn to. You will find the timestamps in the description box and I'm going to be seeing you in your reading. Hello, pile number one. So this is your reading if you have chosen this beautiful card and we are going to take a look at it now. So we have the hanged man. Okay. We will see how this ties into your reading. So let's see, dearest pile number one. What is my pile number one manifesting? What is my pile number one bringing in? And how is it entering my pile number one's life? What is my pile number one manifesting? yourself what is my pile number one manifesting what is my pile number one manifesting This one. So let's see what we have. We have the Hermit reversed, the star beautiful, then we have the Emperor in reversed, the Two of Wands in reversed, the star again. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this. I already love this reading. All right, let's see the last one and justice. Yes, beautiful. So yeah, the first feeling that is coming through, what you are manifesting in your life is actually being more in flow, being more in tune with yourself, being more in tune with your heart, because there is almost this feeling with the hanged man of yeah surrendering control letting go of expectations letting go of having a specific outcome because with the hanged man it's really about hanging in there and no matter how the circumstances are you are holding your ground you are yes more so manifesting peace that is what is coming through like you're manifesting the internal peace or you are manifesting the strength that allows you to maintain peace in any given situation. So no matter what the outside circumstances are, no matter what the outside environment is, you are really grounded in this peace, in this inner peace. And I'm really being told this is what you have been working on. And this could have been a long journey for you because with the Hermit reversed, it's really like um, this feeling of you having done a lot of inner work. And maybe you have been going through a period of isolation or a period where you have been, yeah, really looking inwards and seeing what's hidden in the subconscious. Or maybe you have been doing a lot of shadow work 
and it's actually this period of introspection and maybe also isolation that has really shed light on yeah these different aspects or everything that has been holding you back from feeling that inner peace and so there is really this sense of a lot of shadow work coming through and you have done a very very great job because with the hermit in reversed it's really this message that this period is over now like you have been doing a lot of inner work a lot of shadow work maybe even a lot of purging and it has not been easy and there is really this message coming through like you have done amazing <laughs> you really have done amazing and it's very important that you give yourself credit for that because there is also the feeling that sometimes you don't give yourself credit for how much you have actually purged for how much you have actually transformed because sometimes there is this feeling like the work you have been doing it's not that you let's say have the physical and tangible results in the physical but it's really more so it's an internal shift so the blessings at the moment are really internal and you right now I'm being told that it's time for you to get out and to see for yourself for yourself how much you have grown because again this transformation that has been happening has been happening more internally so you have been seeing let's say or no it's not so it the the message that is coming through like right now you will be given a chance for yourself to see how much you have actually grown and this happens by getting out of the shell getting out of your cave getting out of this period of isolation and moving back to let's say society or moving back to yeah you will have the chance to see how much you have grown this is what i was about to say <laughs> and with the two star cards i i really feel called to pull another card because it really seems like there is a big 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 thing happening because the star in itself is amazing and the star twice is even more amazing and <laughs> The third thing that is amazing is that they show up in the same position, centering your reading. So I'm really feeling called to ask for more information, asking for more guidance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I kind of felt this. <laughs> That's why I intuitively felt called to, oh my good, okay, to uh, clarify this. But for some of you, if not for most of you, something that you are manifesting is actually a relationship so i'm really feeling this not necessarily a loving relationship obviously it can be but simply circumstances that allow you to fill your cup with love because this is especially in conjunction with the card uh, with the star cards um, it's signifying like complete emotional fulfillment and since it's an ace it's the beginning of something new but it's the beginning of something completely new something that you've never experienced before so maybe you really have been going through a period where you have been alone a lot or maybe your relationships were not fulfilling because with the two of scepters it's also realigning with your inner values so maybe you have been going through a period of maybe having relationships or having friendships that simply didn't provide this sense of fulfillment or didn't provide this sense of wholeness or where you just didn't feel like this is not aligned, like this is not aligned, aligned with who I am and with my energy. And that's why you have been going through this long period of introspection, of getting to know yourself realigning with your inner values and this is a very important step so that now in this present moment you know exactly what you want you know exactly what you want out of a relationship you know exactly what you want out of friendships or in general it has to do with relationships 
Obviously, it can be loving relationships, but also in general, like I'm feeling soul connection, soul tribe. And with the star card, I'm getting shivers. <laughs> so I'm really feeling that your soul family is about to show up, like you are about to meet your soul family. And with the star card twice, I'm really being made to feel that this has been, yes, your soul family that you were connected to in all dimensions, on all stars, like you have been together with this, either with this person or with this soul tribe in different galaxies, in different star systems, like it's really your star family, your soul family that is about to show up and it's centering your reading. And it's very interesting because as if <laughs> this would not be amazing enough, I'm really being made to feel that there is another thing that you're manifesting, another blessing that is coming in. And it has to do with finances. Because with the Four of Coins, there is really this sense of, yes, managing your resources and managing your, 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 your physical resources. And with the Emperor in reverse, it's about finding a new structure, but that works for yourself. So maybe through this period of introspection, shadow work and purging, inner um, realigning with your inner values, you have identified or you have decided for yourself that you no longer want to follow structures that are not suited for who you are. So maybe you have even been quitting your job or you are thinking of quitting your job or you are just realigning like there is this complete overhaul of your inner world like this complete yeah with the hanged man everything is upside down everything is completely shifting like i'm seeing not just a small shift i'm seeing a huge and complete shift in your life and with the emperor in reverse again you are creating these new structures you are creating a new framework that allows you to feel emotionally fulfilled, that allows you to be truer to your inner values and that allows you to be in balance because we also have the justice card, which is about balance, which is about, yes, as I was mentioning before, peace of mind. Everything feels more aligned. Everything feels more easy. Like there is so, I'm really being made to feel that things are starting to fall into place. Maybe you have been going through a period in your life where you were, where you felt that you had to fight, where you felt that you had to prove yourself, or you felt that you had to literally fight for your peace. And it has not been easy. And I'm really coming, like your guides are coming through to tell you, like you have done such an amazing job because you were fighting for your truth you were fighting for your for love for peace for for your most basic needs and i'm really being told that maybe this phase that you have been going through but i'm more so being being made to feel that this has been a long period of your life where you really felt that you had to prove yourself you really felt that you had to fight for what you believe in and and you had to, to deal with so much opposition, like many people trying to make you question your beliefs or try to push you down or try to kick you off your pedestal, but you kept on going, you kept on fighting. And no matter how dark it was, no matter how much you had to go into this dark forest and to look at all your shadows and to look at all these kind of things like it's <laughs> i would like to pinpoint on something but it's it's like a complete overhaul like i'm really being made to feel like you have completely shifted your inner world your inner environment and through this work you have been making space or making room for all these blessings to come in and with the ace of cups yes again i'm really being made to feel a soulmate connection again if you already are in a um in a relationship like i'm really being made to feel this soul tribe coming in or like truly nurturing relationships and truly nurturing situations and yeah also with the star card there is this feeling of 
a new a new level of spirituality or a new a new way of looking at yourself like there is the discovery of new aspects of yourself that you never thought you had like yes you have been doing a lot of inner work and you have been getting to know your shadows you have been getting to know maybe even healing past life trauma like not just maybe you have been <laughs> healing past life trauma and now there is this phase where you are rediscovering yourself like you have been getting to know yourself on a deep level but more so with through the lens of healing but now you are healing through joy through discovering new aspects of yourself through experimenting and pouring into yourself there is really this sense that you are filling your own cup with joy with love with laughter with finally like i'm really <laughs> i'm really being made to feel this big sigh like ah oh, finally i did it and you really did it like you did an amazing job like um, i i i cannot stop telling you that you have done so greatly and because you have been persevering you have never let them letting being letting go of your inner values you have always fought for what you believe in and you didn't allow yourself to be pushed on either side and that's why with the yeah with the um adjustment this is the justice card with the justice card there is really this sense you have been holding your ground no matter what even if something came in to push you on this side or on that side you held your ground and actually this perseverance or this belief in yourself is what has brought you where you are right now this yeah there there is this sense of spiritual warrior like you are a spiritual warrior and you are here to finally create that stability for yourself and to finally yeah to finally allow abundance to come in and not just abundance of joy not just abundance of feeling aligned with who you are but also financial abundance because when we are in that state where we are aligned with our truth so our truth is that we are stars we are star beings we come from the stars we are the sun we are the enlightened light of source we are literal stars when we are aligned with that truth then there can only be blessings like in every form and that's why i'm also seeing material blessings because by you applying your passions and staying true to your truth the universe is rewarding that with also material blessings and finally providing you the stability that you so much have been wishing for beautiful i'm feeling called to pull some more cards to get any <clears throat> any more details or any more messages any more guidance maybe specific events or any time frames or anything else about these beautiful manifestations that are coming in yourself is there any more message all right we have three cards we have the moon i'm gonna put this here then we have the princess of cups and we have the two of swords all right So yeah, there is really this feeling that you have been working, especially on past life trauma. Because with the moon card, it's really the letting go of all illusions. And most of the times, <clears throat> I'm being uh, made to feel that you didn't even know what was going on. You didn't even understand the depth of what you actually have been healing. And that's why it was not always easy, because sometimes you just had these deep 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 feelings and you didn't even know where these were coming from like you literally you couldn't do anything than just feeling 
But again, you have been brave and you have been letting go, dismantling all these illusions. And it's not just about this life. So it's really important for you to know that the work you have been doing on healing yourself goes beyond that which is evident with our conscious mind or that which we are even able to grasp because the healing that has been happening is super 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 deep super subconscious super unconscious like you could have been purging generations before you and that's why um yeah it has not always been easy because again you had to feel the feelings without knowing why without knowing where these came from but you have been persevering and you have been letting go of all these illusions and again these are making the way for a completely new chapter like i'm really feeling there is so much newness coming in and i tried to get some specifics of what exactly is happening but spirit is making me feel that um, I cannot tell you <laughs> because what is happening very, very soon is that there is a decision to be made because with the Princess of Cup centering your reading is that you are moving forward to this new chapter with all the wisdom that you have gathered, with this newfound purity of your heart with this newfound wisdom, with the turtle, I'm always feeling wisdom, this integrated wisdom, and with the swan there is purity, like there is also Sagittarius energy coming through, like you are shooting forward with this new state of being, where you are pouring into yourself, where you are really, it's such a beautiful energy, like I'm feeling so, so, so excited for you, like this is amazing, I, I love it, and I also love the Yes, I also love the colors. There is this mystical, like, <laughs> it feels like magic. That's what I want to say. It really feels like magic. And soon there is going to be, I'm hearing the word crossroads. So there is a crossroads where you are basically having to decide where to go. Like there are two options where you're going. And I'm feeling called to pull two cards on which options this might be all right all right <laughs> all right yeah okay the message that is coming through i cannot tell you the details but we have the world and the nine of cups oh my goodness <laughs> so doesn't matter which option you choose it will lead to ultimate joy to your dreams manifesting true ultimate fulfillment, ultimate sense of accomplishment. But again, there is going to be a choice. And it's almost like you have the choice to go to through two timelines. I cannot find the specifics about which uh, timeline or which choice, but I'm being made to feel that you are going to be presented uh, with that very, very soon. Like it really feels it's just around the corner. And especially if you are watching this reading at the time where I'm recording this, um, it could be after the Mercury retrograde season is finally over, after this crazy eclipse season is finally over, things are starting to move in your favor. The stars are aligning and you are being led to ultimate wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cup is the Nine of Cups is ultimate joy, it's ultimate fulfillment, and with the world is completion. Like you are really completing this big, big, big karmic cycle by entering this new phase where you are completely in alignment with who you are and you are all your wish are all your wishes are manifesting. And again, there are two roads that you can choose. The destination is the same. Both pathways that you are going to choose will lead to ultimate fulfillment and will lead to wishes manifesting and materializing in your world but again i'm really being told use the wisdom that you have learned through this very challenging period because from right now you are moving forward with this newfound wisdom like you are taking with you all these gems of wisdom and in this new phase there can only be blessings because you have let letting 
letting go, you have been letting go of this old aspect of yourself. And that's why, yes, outer circumstances, they're not affecting you anymore. Like no matter what life throws at you with this newfound wisdom and with this trust and hope and faith, this unwavering trust, trust and hope and faith that you have, the stars are aligning with you. And you are really moving to ultimate fulfillment and completion and so much joy. This is so beautiful. Like, I'm so excited for you. Really, like, please, please, please let me know in the comments if you, yeah, whenever something happens or if you decide or whatever decision is coming up or, or how this resonates. Like, I'm really being made to feel it. it's so exciting. That's all I can say. It's so exciting and so much magic soon very very soon happening in your life so this is what i have for you i really hope you resonated with the messages please 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 let me know in the comments if you did and also if you feel the calling to uh, book a personal reading i'm also offering personal readings so you can always reach out to me i'm sending you all my blessings and all the best in this beautiful new chapter of your life and I hope to be seeing you in the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Hello, pile number two. So this is your reading if you have chosen pile number two. <laughs> and I'm so excited about this reading because the messages of pile number one, they are so, so, so beautiful. Yes, I'm very excited. So let's see what we have. We have the nine of cups oh my goodness again <laughs> i'm really being made to feel that finally all these blessings are manifesting finally all our wishes are coming through because collectively it has not been an easy time I'm not just talking for myself but i know that as a collective we have been going through a long a very very long period of shadow work and with this reading, like with all the readings that I'm doing, like and all the readings that I'm also listening, I, I'm really being made to feel that finally things are starting to manifest. Finally, things are starting to move in our favor again. And with the nine of cups, I'm really being made to feel that a wish for you is coming through, is coming true. And this is something you have been praying for and hoping for for a very very long time so this is really something which is very dear to your heart this is something which is very close to your heart and i'm really being made to feel that this was always meant to happen and it's almost like it's ingrained within your dna so it's almost like yeah i'm being made to feel that subconsciously you always knew this was going to happen. Subconsciously, you always knew this wish was going to be fulfilled. But I'm also being told that maybe you have been going through a period where you kind of didn't believe that it was, it was possible because it's almost too, too good to be true or it's almost, yeah, it, it kind of felt out of reach. But again, I'm really being made to feel that it's part of your destiny. Like there is really this sense of DNA coming through. And but yeah, let's get in. Let's see. Let's see what this is about. So inner self, I'm asking you for guidance. What is my pile number two manifesting? What is my pile number two manifesting into their life? Inner self, what is my pile? Okay, this wants to come out. I need to use the other deck. What is my pile number two manifesting? Okay, I have to take this one. The sun, beautiful. Okay, what is my pile number two manifesting? Okay, the four of coins in reverse. What is my pile number two manifesting? Six of swords. Okay, and the queen of swords also wanted to come. All right, so let's see what we have. 
Okay, <laughs> I'm really being made to feel that love is in the air. Also for pile number one, there has been coming uh, some hints about relationships or soul tribe coming in. And I'm being made to feel that for you as well. But it doesn't matter in which form this love is coming in. Finally, you are manifesting and creating the circumstances that allow you to be fulfilled. Maybe you also have been drawn to pile number one, but with the Ace of Cups, especially here at the beginning of your reading, I'm really being made to feel that what you are manifesting is emotional fulfillment, is, yes, allowing yourself to be filled with love. And this can very well come in the form of a relationship and especially with the sun wow so much joy you are more so manifesting joy in your life and true happiness and it doesn't matter in which form this is coming in but i'm really being made to feel yeah soul tribe coming in maybe a relationship coming in maybe if you already are in a relationship then completely a new way of pouring into yourself in finding joy and with the sun there is really this this feeling of reconnecting with your inner child reconnecting with that joy re reconnecting with the radiance like there is so much happiness coming through there is so much yeah i'm really being made to feel with the ace also a new beginning a completely new beginning and it's yeah with the Ace of Swords in reversed, I'm really being made to feel that you are also finding peace of mind. So with the Four of Coins in reversed, maybe there also have been situations where you have been worrying about finances or worrying about resources. And this could have really been a big stressor in your life. Like... Um, anything that has to do with resources or finances or like money or foundation, like everything that has to do with your foundation has been a cause for a lot of stress in your life. But in this new phase, all of these worries, they are simply disappearing because with the ace of, um, with the ace of swords in reverse, like there is really, you are finding that mental clarity and you are finding that inner balance and that inner peace which allows you to, yes, see things as they are without worrying about, yeah, let really, there is this feeling of letting go of a lack mindset. And this is exactly what allows you to feel this joy. And it's not just connected about money, but also connected about not having enough, not having enough joy, not having enough fulfillment or not having enough of anything like you are really shifting your mindset and that in itself allows you to bring all these things in because actually all these things have already been here because this is before this shift is happening so actually the fulfillment has been here the love has been here the joy has been here but it's almost the focus was put on something else the focus was more so put on something which is not there or or instead of seeing the blessings there was more a focus on what is lacking and i'm not calling you out here because it i'm really being made to feel that this is a thought pattern that has been deeply ingrained within your subconscious like i'm really also being taken to inner child so it could very well have been a wound maybe from very early childhood where there has uh, it's something about to, uh, it has to do with um, a lack mentality or a lack mindset, but it's not your fault. Like this is almost something that has been taught to you, maybe in very early ages, uh, in a very early stage, maybe even before you were born, maybe even in a past life. But I'm really being made to feel again. I'm being taken to the nine of cups. It has something to do with your genetic line, with your ancestry line. There was. A thought pattern that was so deeply ingrained within your DNA even I'm being told that just didn't allow you to see all the blessings and to see all the abundance that is already here 
And so I'm really being told that what you are manifesting is you are completely letting go of this thought pattern. You are transcending this lack mentality. Again, I'm not calling you out. This is something that has been deeply ingrained within yourself. And maybe you e didn't even know why you couldn't feel this abundance, why you couldn't feel this happiness, why you couldn't feel this joy. Because again, it has been deeply ingrained within your DNA. And I'm really being told that from a very early age on, yeah, I, I kind of knew like you, you, you had a lot of wishes, you had a lot of dreams. And I'm really being told that now that this is removed, all your dreams can manifest. Because I'm really being told, especially with the sun, that you are a very good manifester. And sometimes you have been thinking like, oh, why is nothing manifesting? Why am I not seeing the results? Why is not actually, why are things not actually manifesting in the physical? And I'm really being told that this thought, there is only, only this one thought pattern that had to be removed so that everything can manifest in your life. And yet again, coming back to the Nine of Cups, this is something you always kind of knew that was going to manifest. Like the things that are about to enter your life, there are like true wishes and wishes maybe that you even had have had as a child. Like it can be anything from a career or you wanting to be more creative, to express yourself through art, through music. Like this is something, a, a dream that has been very dear to you. But the only thing that has been holding you back is maybe this thought that, oh, it's not possible, or I don't have the resources, I don't have the abilities, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 blah. It can, can be anything, really. But there was just this one thought pattern that had to be removed so that now you can tap into your inner treasures. With the Six of Pentacles, I'm really being made to feel like tapping into your inner resources and tapping into your all these different facets and aspects of who you are and yeah I'm, I'm really being made to feel like um what is coming what i'm really being made to feel there is the need for some more clarification especially on the six of swords and the six of pentacles what is my pile number two manifesting what is oops, just checking. Yeah. What is my pile number two manifesting? Okay. This is wanting to come out. Then we're taking one from here as well. And we're taking this one. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. I'm feeling intuitively called to pull one more card as the, let's say, final outcome. Because there is a really strong message coming through, especially here. And I'm asking about the outcome of the situation. How is this situation unfolding? All right. There is definitely an important message here. Mm -hmm. So we have the Eight of Scepters, the Eight of Wands. I'm just checking if you can see this. Yeah, let's put this here. Then we have the Seven of Swords. And we have again the Four of Pentacles, but this time it's upright. Okay, I'm really being made to feel there is a strong message coming through. But again, coming back to the beginning, these thought patterns or this let's say it's almost like your mind has always been going down the same pathway it's almost like it's almost automatically it has automatically always been going down that same pathway and what's happening is that you are literally rewiring your brain like you are creating new neurological pathways that allow, allow you to go down a different road instead of always being almost in this automatic lack mentality or automatic oh it's not possible or whatever it is 
you are rewiring your brain and you're creating new pathways because what is um yeah what is happening is that these new thought patterns allow you to feel true fulfillment like true emotional fulfillment with the ten of cups and since it's in reverse like i'm feeling this this inner joy this inner fulfillment like really true and lasting happiness and maybe you've never really experienced like true and lasting happiness maybe you have been going through a very dark period in your life or you felt like you were kind of trapped through these situations or you kind of felt like why you had to go through so much pain or why you had to go through so much challenges maybe you have even been going through a period of depression but i'm really being made to feel that you are freeing yourself from everything that's holding you back and you're really opening up the gates and with the ten of scepters it's about letting go of everything which is not serving you and choosing that one thing that allows you to move forward and it's almost like removing all the noise removing everything that it's kind of in the way like there is it's there is a lot of things that you are releasing that's what i'm uh, was about to say and with the saturn i'm <laughs> i'm really being made to feel that there has been a strong saturn prominence in your chart uh, the energy that is coming through is saturn in the maybe your saturn is in the 10th house which has to do with ambition with ha which has to do with your goals and maybe you had to work extra hard in your life to get to your goals or to move forward like there is really saturn has been very strong a strong force in your life but what i'm being told it is with this restriction because saturn is about holding things together like almost restricting it's almost putting obstacles on our path but it is not to let's say it's not to it's not to our disadvantage what i'm about to say it's like it's it's for our advantage so even if there are restrictions even if there have been these uh, obstacles being put on your way it has been here to make you stronger because i'm really being made to feel that you are embodying the energy of the queen of swords you have been going through a lot in your life but through these experiences you have gathered all this wisdom you have gathered so much strength and especially mental strength because you really have done a great job of especially having this clear mind and letting go of this thought patterns which are not serving you and now moving forward now that you're letting go of all these thought patterns all these outdated beliefs like you can finally tap into your strength and i'm really being made to feel like what you are manifesting also coming back to the manifestations you are manifesting you being in a kind of a leadership position or you being a teacher or a healer or a person that is known or renowned for their wisdom for everything that you have been going through in your life you have finally yeah you're finally aligned especially with the fountain card centering your reading you have finally aligned with the divinity that lies within yourself and you can move forward sharing all this wisdom all this knowledge that you have within yourself and i'm really being made to feel that this has been a long wish and coming back to the nine of cup uh, nine of cups there is really this feeling that you always knew that you were meant to be a healer or a teacher or you always knew that you were meant to be in the spotlight because i'm really being made to feel that you are a very old soul you are a very gifted person and you have a lot of spiritual gifts that are activating like right now as we speak especially with the fountain centering your reading and you always kind of knew that you had to be in this position you had to be in this role but it's almost like you told yourself oh that's not possible oh that's not good enough but actually now you know that you are it now you have released all these 
things that are holding you back, all these restriction, restrictions, and you're finally moving forward, stepping into this leadership position and being known for your story, being known for your wisdom. And even if you feel like you are not wanting to be on a stage or like not wanting to be, let's say, a motivational speaker or anything of that, like it doesn't matter if it's on a big scale. It can also be for your smaller community. It can also be for your smaller circle. But it's really about you stepping into your divinity and activating your divine powers. And I'm really, really being made to feel that many of your gifts are starting to reactivate, especially since now the pathway has been cleared. You have been letting go of these mental attachments. There have been so deeply ingrained mental attachments that you didn't even know where they came from, but you have been clearing the path and with the aid of uh, wants, I'm really being made to feel that from now on things are moving very quickly. We have um, Sagittarius energy twice, so I'm really being made to feel that things are being woven for you in the back background for a very long time actually, especially since you have been realigning and healing and doing the inner work. Like in the background, there has been this net that has been wo that has been been woven for you and from now on things are starting to move very fast like opportunities showing up and new relationships coming in and new people coming in you will be meeting new people who are helping you on your path and maybe for some of you this could even be a relationship if you are single or simply a soul tribe or like people coming in who are supporting you to step into the role of the Queen of Swords because again you are very very rich on a soul level and that's why also from the beginning there has been this this sense of DNA coming through like I'm really being made to feel that you are activating the gifts that are deeply ingrained within your DNA and they have to do with claircognizance, clairvoyance, clairaudience, like all the clair abilities you are a deeply gifted soul and it's very important yeah now you are now you are seeing who you are that's what i'm trying to say you are finally seeing the treasure of who you are all these different aspects of yourself they are starting to to come online like you have unlocked the key for a new path in your lifetime and you are really like letting go of a big karmic cycle and that's why I'm saying that things are starting to move very quickly from now on because the feeling that is also coming through and I've been asking for clarification on the outcome or let's say where all of this is leading. It's very funny to see that in the center there was the four of pentacles in reversed but now at the very end it's the four of pentacles in upright. So you are finally like the the pathway is finally cleared for you to build something of substance because if you would have been going on building something without first doing that inner work without first releasing all of these mental attachments then yeah you could not have been building something of substance or not let's say the the foundation of what you were building was not founded in this alignment with yourself it would not have been founded um, based on your yeah on your alignment with your heart and this could also be true for a relationship like before you have not been going through this shift maybe the relationships do you were attracting or the circumstances you were attracting were not fully aligned with who you are and that's why maybe, yes, it has not been easy. Maybe there have been a lot of challenges. And actually, I'm seeing that you have been going through a lot in your life. But I'm really being made to feel that you're finally letting go. And you're really at the tail end of it. And right now, it's like the the last bit of reflection. Like, what are you really letting go of? It's this last moment of maybe quiet. This last moment of maybe things...
There is also this feeling of anticipation, maybe things being a little bit quiet right now, but after this period has passed, things are going to move very, very quickly. And it's like this, yeah, this feeling that everything is falling into place. And again, the things that you are building from now on, they are of substance. They are really founded on truth. They are founded on the alignment with your heart, with your truest passions, with your truest desires, with your truest joy. And really see this is at the beginning of the reading, like this is within your soul. This richness, this abundance, this light, this joy, this all these gifts, they already are within yourself. They are ingrained within your DNA and they are finally being activated after this time of more so realigning. It's more so this feeling of planning, planning and seeing what exactly it is that you are wanting to manifest, what exactly it is that you are wanting to build. Because I am really beautifully I'm being told that now Saturn is on your side. <laughs> I don't know why that message is coming through, but there is Capricorn energy now. Saturn is finally opening the restrictions that have been here and as a gift for all these challenges that you have been going through. Now Saturn is basically helping you move forward, helping you be disciplined, helping you have this structure to build something of substance. And I'm really being told that you are not alone in this process. Like you have the support of either a new partner coming in, either new people that you're going to be meeting, soul trap coming in, like all these, all these happenings are being woven for you so that you can step into your power and share your wisdom, share your knowledge, be there for the community and finally allow the richness that is within your soul and your heart and your DNA to finally be expressed and to finally be seen and to finally build something based on that. Like you're building a castle, a cathedral. You are bringing forces together to literally weave magic into your life and to finally embody, yes, what you came here to do. Like you knew you came here with a specific mission and you knew that it was going to happen. Deep down, you knew that all of this was happening because, again, it's already within yourself. And wow, 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 I'm so excited. I, I, I cannot see any details and I'm really being told that right now it's not important to say what, what exactly it is that is happening. But you're in the process of finding that out. You're in the process of really, there is, there is this feeling of weighing, like weighing the priorities like well, now that you have been releasing these patterns like what is your priority what do you really want and then slowly slowly starting to make the first steps and as you do the first steps things are finally falling into place because very important the last message coming through it's very important not to stay stagnant not to be overwhelmed by all the choices because i'm really being made to feel that there is a lot going on there can be many roads that you are going that you can go through but it's really about weighing the priorities seeing what's the most important thing and based on that doing the first step not being stagnant not being overwhelmed by all the choices doing the first step and as you do the first step things are falling into place things are being woven for you and it's almost this how do you call when a snowball is rolling down a hill this snowball effect um, and it's happening very very quickly and you will be amazed by the pace that things are actually happening because again there have been so many restrictions but now saturn is on your side things are finally working for your favor and wow Wow, wow, wow. I'm so excited. And please let me know in the comments um, what this is about, how you're feeling, how you're resonating. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'm really sending you all my love and my blessings for this new chapter in your life. And I'm really looking forward to be seeing you in the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. 
Hello, pile number three. So this is your reading if you have chosen pile number three. <laughs> and I absolutely love this reading, like the things that have been going through. It makes me so excited. It makes me so joyful. And I'm very, very excited to see what's coming up for your reading. So let's get in. We're looking at this card right now. And you have the tree of scepters. So yeah, for some of you, you are going on a journey and I'm seeing literal travel. I'm really seeing like moving about with the eagle spirit and the tree of scepter. Expansion that is happening through traveling. Maybe you wished to go somewhere for a very long, long time or you always had this dream that you are moving somewhere or just traveling somewhere. Like I'm really seeing what you are manifesting is expansion that comes through movement. But let's get in, let's get some more details on what exactly this is about. So, inner self, I'm asking you for guidance. Thank you so much for channeling through me. And what is my pile number three manifesting in their lives? What is my pile number three? All right, this one, these two want to come out. What is my pile number three manifesting in their lives? What is my pile number three manifesting in their lives? What is my pile number three? All right. What is my pile? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. We have the Fool. Oh, wow. The Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. The Lovers. Okay, wow. As I was shuffling, I actually saw the Lovers card in this deck. <laughs> Love is truly in the air. I don't know for every pile there has been love coming through. But love can come in many, many forms. So let's see what this is about. Okay, so with the Fool, I'm really being made to feel that you are really embarking on a new journey. There is really this feeling like... Um, sorry, I'm just checking. Okay, there is really this feeling that, yeah... You are completely starting a new cycle and it's so beautiful because it has been coming through for all three piles. There is really a new karmic cycle starting, a new, yeah, a new way of doing things. And it's very funny, like I have this deck for a very long time and this is the first time I'm noticing this part. So I'm really being told that not from now on your path is being almost interwoven with another person so if you are single this could very well be a relationship or it's almost like uh, maybe you're even getting uh, children maybe you are meeting someone significant I'm really being made to feel that from now on you are starting a new cycle where your path is being merged and interwoven with another person so if you are planning on having children, I definitely see this happening, especially with the Ace of Spheres. Like now is a very, very fertile time. And even if you are a man or if you don't plan on having children at all, then it can be like not just a child, but like children in the sense of a project or a new venture. Like there is this feeling of... Finally, a seed that you have been planting is like right now is the time to make it bloom. That's what I'm hearing. Right now is the time to manifest and to bring this into creation. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the need for more cards. <laughs> I need more information. Like I already absolutely love this energy. And I'm asking for some more clarification, especially on... The Seven of Wands and the Hierophant. What is going on? These three are wanting to come out. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. We have the Ace of Scepters. Like, psh, beautiful, beautiful. 
there is definitely a new beginning happening in your life it's a anything that you have been thinking about or planning or maybe contextualizing maybe you have been doing the plans gathering resources blah 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 like there has been a planning stage of something right now is the time to move forward maybe you always wanted to start your project maybe i don't know start a new job or travel somewhere or apply for a university or start a youtube channel or start writing a book or publishing your book or whatever whatever it is anything that has been in the planning phase i'm being told that right now is the time to move forward and what you are manifesting because the reading is about your manifestations is you're manifesting the circumstances that allow you to bring forward that project that you have or allow you to bring forward this wish of expanding like there is a lot of fiery energy coming through i'm being told right now is a time to act it's very important to put in the action yes the planning phase was very important gathering the wisdom gathering the knowledge creating the structure but right now i'm being told that it's time to move forward and funnily enough <clears throat> i'm being told that sometimes there has been a resistance in moving forward because it's almost what I'm being made to feel is that the thing that you are doing is a bit unconventional or maybe if you're traveling somewhere then <clears throat> it's not a destination that everyone would go to or maybe you're not just <clears throat> maybe you're not just traveling but also doing some voluntary work or there is something that is very unconventional and it's almost like your surroundings have not been as supportive let's say to that project that you have been having or maybe this can be anything like literally the the range that i'm being shown here remember this is a general reading like there is something that you wanted always wanted to do which is a bit unconventional and sometimes you had the feeling like um you had to prove yourself or yeah like the outer environment was not as supportive with these plans maybe your parents were not supportive with you going to that specific destination or your friends didn't believe that it was possible or your friends said this is too crazy this is too out there whatever it is like there is this feeling of you needing to almost fight to get there or fight to yeah to make it happen but i'm really being told now is the time to make it happen and actually by taking that action you are attracting a lot of financial blessings because with the five of coins there is almost this lack mentality or there is almost this focus on seeing what is lacking but when you are brave to take this action and to move forward with anything like literally the, the range of what what it can be is so vast but once you take this step then i'm really being told that you really start to see the blessings and start to see the possibilities like before there have been maybe these thoughts oh it's not possible or maybe you have been listening to the naysayers to the doubts of other people and this has been a bit discouraging for you or this has been maybe maybe the focus has been on the impossibility instead of what's possible but you will see as soon as you start to take action you're like you will see like oh wow actually i can make this happen or it's possible or i i can do this and and this is bringing in a completely new situation and again i'm really being made to feel that it has to do with another person <laughs> funnily enough there has been this vibe coming through in all three piles but i'm really being made to feel that right now is a time where we don't have to walk alone anymore like our paths are being interwoven either with a partner or with soulmates or new friends or new colleagues or a new environment maybe you're finding your tribe you're finding a new yes just a new environment that allows you to move forward with your projects you're finding an environment that is supportive for your ideas a circumstances that allow you to finally move forward with all the wishes that you try to manifest since a very long time actually 
and I'm still feeling that there is more wanting to come especially also with the Queen of the Queen of Cups in reversed inner self what is my pile number three manifesting asking for some more information what is okay I felt that there is something more wanting to come out okay we have the hanged man and what is the outcome where is all of this going what is the outcome Wow. Okay. <laughs> so the Ace of Cups has been showing up in every single reading and I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. So it's 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 so beautiful to see that things are finally aligning. And you have the Ace of Spheres, so the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Scepters and the Ace of Cups, a complete new beginning in your life. And I'm really again I'm really being taken back to the energy of the Eight of Swords where it's almost the energy that is coming through is that sometimes you thought you were restricted or sometimes because with the Eight of Swords it's um, the energy of stag being stagnant or something not moving forward or feeling restricted, feeling feeling yeah feeling stuck basically but since it sorts it's only an illusion this is only thought patterns that have been holding you back from actually moving forward that have been holding you back from actually taking action no matter what it is but i'm really again being taken back to the feeling that you are not stuck like things are actually so much brighter than maybe you give yourself credit or maybe, yeah, kind of, there is also this feeling of emotions. Like, I'm really being made to feel that you are at the tail end of releasing something that has an emotional tie as well as thought patterns. Like, I'm really seeing a lot of swords or the swords are very prominent. So there is this feeling that you are at the tail end of releasing this lack mentality or these illusions that you are stuck or these thought patterns that make you believe that, yeah, you're being held back in any form. But again, this is an illusion. And even if you right now, in this present moment, feel like you're hanging on a tree and you're not moving forward or things are not moving maybe as you wish to, this is really your invitation right now to reflect on what fills you up emotionally. Because with the um, Queen of... Um, with the Queen of Cups in reversed, I'm really being made to feel that you are realigning with your inner world and seeing what it is that you actually want. Not what your parents want, not what society wants, not what your friends want. Anything that you truly desire. And that's why I'm being made to feel that things are on hold but it's not, not that things are on hold because things are being restricted, because I'm being made to feel that you are in this energy right now, where you feel that you're stuck, where you feel that you cannot move forward, where you feel like, yeah, like um, you don't have the power to create anything that you desire. But I'm really being made to feel that you're not actually stuck, but this is the, uni the universe asking you to take a look at your inner environment because right now you are again at the tail end of releasing this scarcity mindset. That's what I want to say. This mentality of lack, this mentality of not having enough, not having enough wisdom, not having enough resources, not having enough abilities or like needing to fight, needing to prove yourself. Like all this noise is being released. And before you take this step, it's really this invitation of, what do you actually want? And once you have identified that, but I'm being made to feel that you're already in the process, like I'm already being made to feel that you actually know what it is that you want. But it's almost like letting go of this perceived illusory stagnancy. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of lost uh, what I wanted to say. It's um, 
yeah, this, <laughs> see exactly this feeling. It's almost like actually everything is aligned. Everything is, is moving forward, new beginnings starting, but there is this, oh, but what if it's not working? What if it's, what if I don't find the people I'm meant to be finding? What if the resources I'm, I need are not, it's like, no, let go of all these thoughts that are trying to hold you back because again, it's your time to take action. It's your time to move forward because there is this completely new chapter of your life that you are entering. And I'm really being made to feel that it also has to do with wisdom. So maybe through this travel that you are about to do or through this project that you are starting, like something, it has something to do with knowledge because I'm really being taken to the cosmic egg here. And by the way, the lovers is not just about um, like actual love or love relationships, but it's also about the sacred marriage within. So I'm really being made to feel that you are going on a path of self-discovery. You are discovering wisdom that is within yourself because with the Hierophant, it's also opening the book of um, opening the book of your soul and seeing the hidden aspects, like seeing the deeper parts of what's hidden inside you. It's almost like also with the full connecting to source, connecting to that zero point. Maybe you are wanting to go on a retreat or wanting to, yes, there is this feeling of traveling somewhere where it, you know that it nourishes your soul. And this is really the, um, the end of the reading is when you follow your passions and when you do exactly what you always wished to do, when you listen to your heart, then you are automatically manifesting and attracting the circumstances that allow you to feel fulfilled. But the first step that is needing to be done is it starts from you. Like nobody is giving you nothing from the outside is giving you the blessings that you Okay, sorry, I tried to formulate this differently. You are the only person who can give blessings to yourself. It doesn't come from the outside. It doesn't come from you making money or you needing to follow specific societal conditioning or whatever. It doesn't come from the outside. But true fulfillment and love and blessings and abundance they come from the abundance and the blessings that you give to yourself. So that there is really an invitation for you to fill your cup, to do what you enjoy. because And also not worrying about the resources, also not worrying about the money. Because sometimes there is this feeling of when I, I don't know, let's say when I pamper myself or when I go on this travel then maybe there is this thought or oh I won't have enough money or I won't have enough time or I won't have enough anything letting go of everything that has to do with a lack mentality and opening up the gates to allow this love to flow through because when you give love to yourself when you follow your passions when you do the things that you always wanted to do then the universe is providing circumstances that allow you to attract even financial abundance. And I'm really being told that this new path is being woven for you. And right now, the invitation is to take that step, to take that leap of faith and, yeah, to move forward with it. Because, again, there is a new beginning happening and you are basically rediscovering yourself, but a deeper aspect of yourself. And this only happens when we are connecting with this energy of being ex like play. There is also Sagittarius energy coming through, like playing again, being a child again, doing the things you always wanted to do. Because again, nothing is holding you back. When you choose to give that love to yourself, when you choose to finally follow your passions, then the universe is creating all the circumstances that allow you to be in that state. But again, I'm also really being told that <laughs> with the Ace of Cups, with the lovers and with this specific image here, like you're really also about to meet some significant people in your life. Doesn't matter if it's a relationship or friends or soul tribe or new colleagues or whatever, by this leap of faith that you're taking, 
it's almost like your path is taking a completely new road and also i'm being made to feel that you are connecting to a deeper part of spirituality maybe you are really starting to also connect with your gifts on a deeper level because with the ace of spheres it has to do with manifestation but i'm more so being taken to the spiritual side of it and also with the lovers it's the sacred union so it's this spiritual marriage with yourself it's this complete self-love with yourself like you're really learning how to fill your cup how to love yourself unconditionally and that is allowing all these new blessings to come in and yeah it's i always try to get the specifics in all three piles i i try to find out like specific information but i'm really being made to feel that um it's a surprise <laughs> for all of us for all three pies it's a huge surprise happening but the only thing and i can tell it again <laughs> after i think 20 times i said it now is the time to take action believe in yourself fill yourself with love move forward with the wishes that you always had and wow just wow i cannot say anymore so many amazing things happening in your life very very soon or already happening because it's a new beginning completely on a completely new way that you've never experienced before that's what i wanted to say also with the full it's a something you've never had before and it can come in any form really and yeah i don't want to spoil anything here so allow yourself to see the surprises <laughs> and that's all i have for you and i really really hope you resonated with the messages please let me know in the comments if you did and also if you feel the calling to book a personal reading i'm also offering personal readings and i'm wishing you all the best in this new chapter of your life and also if you feel called to share something about your process in the comments uh, i'm i'm inviting you to do so and again, all the blessings, all the love, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you so much for watching.